Hello, and today I'm going to be making a toad in the hole. To start with, we need a bowl to mix it up in. One egg, some plain flour, and a drop of milk. Now, as usual, this is not a definitive recipe, it's just the one that I have used and has worked many times for me in the bath. Take some flour, sprinkle some into your mixing bowl, that'll do. Crack an egg. Use a knife often helps. Drop that in. then mix it all up. Obviously you do this a bit slowly to start with. Now this is morning. I've not long got back from dropping my daughter at school to give you an idea of time and obviously we're going to be eating this at dinner time this evening. Ideally I should have done this last night. But as with everything, we don't live in an ideal world, do we? Just give it a good mix up. That's probably a little on the thick side. Just thin it down just a little bit. Also, the thing is, it's pure guesswork. That's better. Uh, if you think it's too thick, Thin, always add more flour. If you think it's too thick, you always add more milk. So that's that. That is stage one of toad in the hole. What I should do now is to put that to one side to let it stand. Ideally, I'll go in the fridge, but I think our fridge is a bit full. I'll have a look in a moment. Um, that's the toad in the hole, next phase. I have one dish I'm going to cook in, which I've just put a little drop of oil in. Just working it around, grease it up. It's now going to sit in the oven to heat up. While that's doing so, the batter, get another mix up. And mix it up as much as you can. Again, sit the side for a few minutes, oh, about 10 minutes or so in the oven with that, just to heat it up and we'll be back. Okay, so I've just taken the bowl straight from the oven, it is very hot, I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands, what I'm going to for. So the first thing you need are your sausages, just pop those in, just about fit in this pan. Just normal supermarket sausages, nothing particularly fancy. The beauty of doing your own is you can choose whatever sausage you like. Give that a final whisk, let's pour some of that in. And that may well be a little too much, but never mind. Keep your spares for later on. And now, the important thing is to pop it into the oven. That's on, well, yeah, that's six and a half gas, whatever that equates to. And it'll take about half an hour, but keep an eye on it. We'll come back in half an hour. Well, time has elapsed. It's time to see how this toad in the hole has been doing. Very important oven glove and a tea towel. It should be cooked. It's had plenty of time. Let's have a look 
Oh, look, and it has cooked. Oh, that's not the best toad in the whole I've ever cooked, but it's tonight's dinner. I'm going to enjoy it. All that remains now is to dish it up. Unfortunately, that fell apart a little as I was pulling it out of the dish, but never mind, it's still going to get eaten just the same. Serving suggestion for the toad in the hole would be some nice, freshly homemade potato wedges. You can see my other video on how I've done those, and many more to come. Thank you for watching. Tune in again soon. Thank you, and goodbye.